Good morning, day 130 out here on the CDT. Still chilling in my tent. Uh, it rained most of the night and it is raining right now. It's not raining too hard, but seeing if I can't let it pass a little bit and uh, pack up when it's not raining. But gonna have to get moving eventually, pack up all my wet stuff and hit the trail. Uh, just about five miles to join back up with the CDT, the red line, and then yeah, just do another 20, 25 mile day. No real goal in mind. I got to make it uh, 12 miles is my first water source from here. So I'll have to pack a little extra of that out of here. But hopefully it doesn't rain all day and we can get this stuff dried out at some point and maybe some views. But let's do it. Sorry, buddy. I got to pack up my tent. Back on the red line and the CDT on some trail. Good to be off that dirt road. But I am 408 miles from the Canadian border right now. Whew, it seems doable. I think I'll make it. But I'm gonna have a quick snack here, keep moving. Um, it's just been sprinkling on me on and off today. Keep getting patches of blue sky like that. I keep hoping it's gonna clear up, but we'll see how it is. It's not too bad. As long as the rain stays away, it'll be a good day. Keep moving here a little bit. Just made it to my water source here. Um, it's just before 12, so I'm gonna stop, have some lunch, and pull my tent out and dry it out. Not much sun, but I got some dead trees and a breeze. Should get it dried out pretty quick. But, ooh, there's a little sun there. Maybe it'll help. Um, but yeah, pretty good day. Not much for views, just kind of chilling in the woods, but 11 miles in for the day. And uh, yeah, just another day out here on the CDT. The rain's staying away for the most part. And I'm glad because it's pretty chilly. I'm glad I'm not cold and wet, just just cold. But I'm um, going to refuel, keep moving, and uh, hopefully get another 12, 13 miles in this afternoon. sunshine is everything feels so good 
I'm just getting little patches of it. It looks like the, some of the clouds are starting to break up. But man, when that sun hits you, it feels so good. Um, got a water source coming up here in a mile and a half. And I think I'm going to fill up for the night and try to find camp early again tonight. I liked being set up by 6.30. That was nice. I was asleep by 8.15 last night and got a real good night's sleep. So I'd like to repeat that. But get a few more miles in here tonight. See if we can't find a good camp spot. camp i am all set up getting some beautiful clouds here they are clearing out i hope that continues and we get some sunshine tomorrow that would be nice i have grown quite accustomed to having sunshine living down in florida so i gotta have it every other day or else i start to get weak and depressed but uh um hopefully get some nice views of the stars here beautiful meadow here maybe we'll see some wildlife tonight or in the morning but temperatures are definitely dropping supposed to get down to 36 and that was in town so probably colder up here and especially in this meadow so i will be sleeping with my water filter tonight and make sure that doesn't freeze but just doing an easy meal tonight i got a mountain house and i got this nice little bench to sit on which is nice because a lot of the stuff is still kind of wet and dewy from the rain the last couple days but going to enjoy my night here and uh, do it again tomorrow. Oh, there's a bird. Something I didn't mention the other day when I was in town was I tried to get new shoes at the outfitter there and they were sold out of my size. I probably should have called and made sure because that was the last town I was planning on going in and I was counting on new shoes there. So should have done a better job of checking, but I did not anyway. Um, I called the place in Helena and they are getting me a pair and holding them for me. So they should be there tomorrow. Um, but I wasn't planning on going to Ellington. I, I had, or uh, Helena, um, I had my box, my wife ship my box to Elliston because there's a fire closure coming up and you can either go right to hitch into Helena or you can go left and walk right through the town of Elliston. So I was just going to walk through Elliston, pick up my box and keep moving. So now, since I did the shoe debacle, I got to go to both places. So I'm going to get some good mileage in tomorrow. And then Sunday, I should have less than 10 miles to that road. And I'll hitch into Helena. The gear store is open till 5. I'll get my shoes and do a couple things in Helena because the Elliston has nothing. I might do some laundry and get a good meal while I'm there. And then get back to Elliston sunday night camp there you can camp behind the general store and then pick my box up monday morning and then move on it'll be kind of a pain but this was kind of a short section and i had plenty of time to waste i guess before the post office on monday so get all that figured out get some new shoes those will last me to the end of the trail no problem um i don't want to have shoes like i did on the pct i'll have to I'll show you a picture of those if i can find one but they were tattered and torn and i ended up getting frostbite on the pct I'm not expecting it to get as cold and as much snow as i did on that trail but uh just want to stay comfortable these trail these shoes probably could have lasted a little longer again like my last ones but the padding is just worn out and i can feel every rock and you know sharp thing i step on but Gonna enjoy my night, stop talking, eat some dinner, get a good night's sleep, and uh, try to get some good mileage in tomorrow. But beautiful spot. I'm glad I got here tonight. Another good day out here. 